What's up my bearded bros and today we have another weapon review from the raid arsenal. Today we have the Genesis Chain Auto Rifle. Now what's special about this gun, like all the raid weapons with the double perks, this one has focused fire and then focused firefly. Which when you get a kill with focused fire, basically while you're aiming down sights, precision kills will then cause firefly to happen which will make them explode obviously. And also has hammer forged. Well, what's so special about this is I believe it's the only auto rifle ever to have firefly on it. Which is already tremendously amazing. You'll probably see a lot of these running around in Crucible. Who knows? Personally, I'm going to use it and I look forward to using it. And this one, of course, comes with the raid perk, Whirlwind's Curse, bonus damage to Fallen, bonus agility when this weapon's equipped. Personally, I think this might be the best weapon to use raid-wise in the raid because of the shanks and the drags that just can do massive damage, especially if you're popping off Firefly. The only bad thing is you can't technically use Firefly against the shanks, but it can still wipe out a horde of them relatively quickly, which is awesome. Now, thank you for listening to me spiel on. I will get back to you when I find a match. Let's do it. Let's do it, guys. We finally found a fucking match. We are back. My bearded bros, the bearded maniac is back in action with this auto rifle review. Got what it's called again because it's a piece of garbage. The Genesis Dumpster. Time to fight the Genesis Filth. The Genesis, so help me God. I shouldn't be using this because I have a life. Oh, okay. What? Where was that trip mine? Where? In God's green earth was that fucking trip mine? Oh look, another grenade that spans the reach of a thousand stars. Seriously. Yeah, headshot, baby, headshot. Let's run away. Oh, again, those broken ass scatter grenades. Seriously? I did that bad against the Jade Rabbit? Well, what can you expect? This gun, personally, in my opinion, in my very, very unprofessional opinion, this gun is complete garbage. Oh, look at that! Not even next to me, but then all of a sudden you f pop up next to me and melee me. That's all the crystal seems to be is fucking. J Ooh, I got the jump on somebody. I'm so good. E Are you kidding? Ser you got one scout rifle round off on that guy. Seriously? Let's save our buddy over there. the lead now we're gonna be murdered because this guy's scatter grenade is literally for chicken shit pussies it wouldn't be so bad if it was one grenade that did all that damage instead it's a million fucking grenades doing all that damage for him because he's the fucking pushy shit Okay, over here, man. Okay, he good, he good. He Gucci, he Gucci. Zone B neutralized. Okay, let's see if we can help with B at all. I don't see us being too much help.
Yeah, we got the revenge kill, post-mortem, payback, whatever you want to call it. I don't give a shit. We actually got a kill, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, professionals. Nine out of ten professionals say I should probably save this for when we um get heavy. You captured zone B. Nine out of ten professionals can also go fuck themselves. I hit him, or I should have hit him, with my explosive hammer, but I didn't. And look at that! I killed three of them with my hammer or two. But all of a sudden there's like four or five right there just waiting for me. I just went over there to grab orbs anyway. Thank you. See, what I don't understand about fucking A side on this map is why do they get such an advantageous spawn? Oh, come on! I got my grenade off! If I'm starting the motion, just fucking throw it anyway! Might as well go for it. You captured zone B. And if that cryptic dragon didn't get in the way, I would have murdered that dude. But, you know, that's just how you live when you're living on a scout rifle map. Okay, so I'm not letting him take B. Okay, don't I honestly don't know how we let one person take B when there were so many of us. There we got the firefly active so you can see it explode. Just fucking move out of my fucking way, dude. Come on! You don't own the fucking map, Ajax. Go fuck yourself. I just took that trip mine for the team. Okay, if we could get B back, we'd handedly win this. Okay, now you see, I almost had them both there, but the flinching. Oh, the flinching hick just made it so the headshots were impossible to get.
Oh, oh, um, excuse me, sir. Sir, if I, um, sir, if I, uh, auto rifle you in the face with a headshot, how, how do you somehow get me with storm trance while I'm auto rifling you in the face with a headshot? Look at that, I just wiped them out somehow. I'm guessing it was extreme luck. You captured or a mixture of luck and skill, where luck was mostly the factor, but skill had like 1% of the work. Double kill. Yeah, screw you. Lost. Nice work, Guardians. Your efforts have been noted. I almost saved that guy. Anyway, guys, that was the Genesis Chain Wrath of the Machine auto rifle from the raid. If you're into auto rifles, I recommend picking it up. It has a decent fire rate, decent impact, does 20-something damage to the head, which if you're good enough with it, that's that's decent. Um, The Firefly helps. It's not very realistic because if you're close enough to be like really, really good with an auto rifle, you're obviously either going to get shotgunned or flinch and probably gonna miss the headshot, but it's pretty good. I imagine it's gonna be really good in PvP though, PvE, when it's like a fall and nightfall. Other than that, if you're into auto rifles, I recommend picking it up, but if you're strictly a sniper or scout rifle user like me, I recommend leaving it alone. Keep it on the shelf. There are better weapons out there for you to use in Crucible. So this has been the Bearded Maniac, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.